Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is OneSkill and in today's video I will show you how you can create a Prezi style PowerPoint presentation. Let's go! So first of all let me quickly show you what Prezi looks like so that you understand what we will be doing in PowerPoint. So Prezi is an online presentation tool that allows you to create awesome dynamic presentations you basically have these bubbles which are like overview of your whole presentation and then you can click on any of these bubbles and you can zoom in and here you get additional bubbles additional content of your presentation and again you can zoom in second time so that's really awesome this way you can create dynamic non-linear presentation experience and PowerPoint has the slide zoom feature which allows you basically to create similar effect just using PowerPoint. So in today's video I will show you how you can create something similar just using PowerPoint. And now let me show you the presentation that I have created in PowerPoint, you know. So again we have these bubbles and we can click on any of these bubbles, we can zoom in. I have inserted a video clip and I have inserted animated image placeholder so you can basically insert anything that you would usually insert into your slides and you can apply this you know Prezi zoom effect using the slide zoom feature and here's just a couple of examples what you can insert you can insert infographics you can insert charts you know anything that you want So as always let's start by opening up a fresh blank new presentation. Let's set the layout to blank and the first step that we have to do we have to fill our slide with a nice background picture that covers the whole slide. As always I'm using unsplash.com and I will put a link in the video description of this exact photo that I am using. As you can see the photo does not cover the whole slide so I just crop it to 16 by 9. Align it to the top left corner of the slide. And then I just drag this round bubble and cover the whole slide. And let me make this photo just a little bit darker like minus 30%. So the white text that we will put later on on top of this photo will be much more visible. So as you can see we need to create these kind of you know round bubbles on our starting slide. So let's do just that. Let's go to insert shapes and let's find this oval shape. And while holding down a shift key let's draw a perfect circle. For the outlines let's make it white and let's add a weight of 6 points. And for the fill itself let's make it a little bit transparent like 30% transparency. And let's set the color palette to something nice. Blue, I like this color palette called blue, ok. And now let's just duplicate this bubble a couple of times uh, while holding down the control key. Let's make uh, four bubbles and let's uh, change their sizes so you know they have uh, different sizes. <laughs> Ok and now let's fill all of these bubbles with uh, different colors from our blue color palette. Looks just beautiful. Ok now let's just insert a line. Let's make it white. Let's add a weight of 6 points. 
and let's put this uh, this line a couple of times between these bubbles so it's like we will connect all of these bubbles with a couple of lines you know it's uh, not like you know necessary step it's just for design purposes so it looks like that all of your bubbles all of your slide content is connected Okay, now let's go to insert icons and let's find a couple of business icons that we can use. Let's just grab uh, four icons. Okay, and let's click insert. Now all of these icons are black, so let's set their color to white color. Let's increase the size of these icons and let's put all of these icons into each uh, circle. Uh, you can adjust the size of each icon so that you know the size of icons match the size of each bubble okay now let's grab the text box tool and let's insert a couple of text boxes just you know explaining each bubble what each bubble is so let's set the font color to white Let's make our font size 30 and for the font itself we're going to use Railway Black. Let's make the character spacing tight. And the first one, the first bubble will be called Opportunity. So let's say this is, you know, some kind of pitch deck uh, presentation. So first of all you present, you know, your opportunity. Then you say something about the market then your solution and after that your business model so you know you can you know adjust it according to your needs anything that you want you can type in Okay, now let's insert a second slide. Let's uh, set the font background to some kind of dark color, like this one, dark blue. And now let's copy this icon and this small bubble together with this text box. Now let's increase uh, the size of this uh, bubble. As well, let's increase the size of this icon. And you guessed it, let's increase the size of this text box as well. Opportunity. So this will be our second level, you know, we will zoom into this slide from the first slide. So now we just have to set everything up so that everything looks beautiful. Okay, now let's copy this uh, bubble a couple of times. Let's reduce the size and let's make uh, three bubbles in total. So, you know, these small bubbles will be the next level of the zoom. We will be able to zoom into these uh, small bubbles later on. You will see. And let's duplicate this uh, text box while holding the control key. And let's type in something like what, where and why. For example, what your opportunity is all about, where it exists and why it exists <laughs> or why it is so good, you know. You can type in anything that you need. And again, I'm just using the control key to quickly duplicate the text boxes. You can as well hit uh, Ctrl D to duplicate or just hit the Ctrl key and drag it with your mouse. Beautiful. Now let me just quickly copy this line and let's create a couple of lines with a bubble at the end of the arrow 
so now it's just purely design design element so that everything looks a little bit more beautiful okay so now we are finished with this you know second slide and now let me actually position everything to the center and now let me show you how to insert your slide zoom so first of all select the icon and the bubble group it actually group all of these bubbles with their icons hitting down the control and G and now just right click on the first bubble and select save as picture okay we need to save this bubble as a picture so give it a name for example opportunity click save now we can delete this element let's go to insert zoom slide zoom now let's select the second slide click insert now you will get your slide zoom now just click on zoom background so we have transparent background check the return to zoom and change the zoom image and now select this image that we just have created voila So as you can see, we need to create you know, these custom images for our slide zooms. And now when we click on this slide zoom, we zoom into the second slide. We click again, we zoom back. We click, we zoom, we click again, we zoom back. Awesome! That's the beauty of the slide zoom. Okay, so now let's create a third level zoom. So basically this is the slide into which you know we zoom when we click on this bubble what. <laughs> so I'll just show it to you. So let me just copy a couple of elements from my original presentation and into this laptop mockup I'll just insert a video. Let me find a video on my computer. This is just one of my previous tutorials. Let's go to video playback settings. Let's make sure it starts automatically and let's trim this video a little bit to any place that we want. For example, starting from this point. to this point now it's just for demonstration purposes now just align your video into in the into <laughs> in the laptop mock-up we can hit format crop and you now crop the right side of the video so that it nicely fits into the laptop okay and now again we have to create a picture out of this you know what bubble where bubble and why bubble <laughs> what where why so once again right click on this bubble and save it as a picture let's name it what and click save now we can delete it and now let's insert a slide zoom so this time it's going to be the third slide once again let's go to format and choose zoom background now let's make no outlines so zoom background it will make it transparent return to zoom and let's select a picture what beautiful so let's check it out on the full screen how everything works so this is the first zoom level and this is the second zoom level and the video is playing automatically beautiful So ladies and gentlemen, you have learned how to create a Prezi-style PowerPoint presentation. Congratulations!
Uh, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, I did not manage to show you all of the slides that I wanted. I mean, how to create those slides, because in my original presentation, I have created a few more slides. In this tutorial, I just showed you how to create this opportunity bubble and this uh, what bubble. And in my original presentation, I had a couple of more interesting slides, especially this one with animated image placeholder. So I'll just attach this presentation to my PowerPoint Slide Zoom course 2019. Please check it out if you haven't already. And I will attach this uh, PowerPoint file to the last lecture, which is called Create a Prezi Style Presentation in PowerPoint. And you will find the attachment right over here. All of my current students, you are getting this uh, you know lecture absolutely for free and everyone who have not yet checked out this course I highly recommend it so please check it out and once again thank you for watching this video and i'll see you on the next one